Welcome to Tech Teach. So basically in the previous classes we have gone through uh, digital to analog and analog to analog conversion. In digital to digital conversion, this is the data. Basically we are converting a data to a signal. So it is digital data to the digital signal we want to convert basically. So it is digital data to digital signal conversion. So our main motive is we are having a data. Data can be uh, analog data or digital data. We have already seen analog or digital data. Similarly, the signals signals can also be the same analog signals or the digital signal. So whatever the data is there, so either the data is in the form of digitals means bits, zeros and ones likewise, or it is in the form of like sine wave. Like an electricity is there, there is an analog signal. While transmitting a signal, we are having a transmitter or a sender and we are having a receiver. In between that, there is a channel. Whenever we are sending a data from the transmitter to receiver, the data needs to be traveling from the channel. So this channel should be such that it should be able to contain that data. Okay. So whatever the data is there, we can't send only zero and ones through the channel. To send zero and ones or whatever the analog data is there, we need to convert this analog data into analog or digital signals. So signals can travel from the conductors or the medium or the channel. So signals can travel with the help of these channels. These channels are basically the wires, okay, or the wireless. So we need to convert the data to the signals so that we will be able to transmit the data either is in the form of analog data or digital data. After conversion, we will be able to send it. The same way we are going to convert here a digital data to the digital signal itself. For converting digital data to digital signal, we have three different methods like line coding, block coding, and scra scrambling. So these are the three uh, techniques. So this line coding is important. Okay, so line coding, we will be going through that in deep. So here the line coding is always needed. So whenever we want to send a data through the channel, we need to first do the line coding. So after doing the line coding, there is there comes the block coding and the scrambling. So this comes later, but always whenever we are sending the data through the channel, we need to do the line coding. So we will see what different types of line codings are there log coding and scrambling may or may not be needed so line coding is basically going to convert the digital data into the digital signal so there are different types of line coding so we will be going to go one by one but before going to understand the different types of line coding we will just see like what different types or different parameters are there that will be affecting the different line coding techniques. Okay, so what different parameters will be there? We will be looking at that. So here it is given here, and a sample of data communication is given like whenever a sender is sending a data to the receiver. If the sender is sending the data, that data is in the form of digital data. So digital data is there, that is in the form of zeros and ones. It needs to be sent through a link or through a channel. So this channel will be transmitting the signals, not the data. So that's why there is a need to convert the digital data into the digital signals. So for converting the digital data to digital signals, we use the encoders. The technique that we will be using is called encoder. That's why it is like line coding or we call it line encoding. OK, so it is line coding or basically it is called encoders. So this line coding techniques are nothing but the encoding techniques. So this is done at the sender side. So similar is the technique that is done at the receiver side because at the receiver side, we need to convert the digital signal into digital data so because through the wires, through the channel, we will be getting the data, uh, signals. So that signal needs to be decoded. So there is a need of decoder that should be converting digital signals into digital data. 
so this data digital data is received at the receiver so now the receiver is able to understand what is the data that is sent and it, it will be able to get the sender data so this is the basic objective once we are going to use conversion between digital to digital conversion that digital to digital conversion is done basically by using the encoding techniques or basically the that are the encoders so these opposite of encoders will be the decoders so decoding will be done at the receiver side encoding will be done at the sender side we will see like signal elements and data elements so this we have already seen in the previous class but we will just go once again. So what basics of the signal elements and data elements are there so that we will be going through whatever the data we are sending in terms of the bits are there. So it is one zero one we are sending. So for. Sending we are sending this one as one data element so because in one time. So this is like time. So this is with respect to because this is a signal. So it is with respect to time. So for a certain time, this one will be sent. Then for certain time, zero will be sent. Similarly, one will be sent. So if this one bit of data that will be considered as one data element, if that one data element is represented by one signal element, then it will be like one data element represented by one signal element. So here there is a parameter defined that is called R. So R we have also seen in the previous class. So this R is basically the ratio of number of data elements to the number of signal elements. So here the R is the number of data element to the number of signal element. So for this first for this A figure A basically. One data is being sent for. And for sending one data element, one signal element is required. So one data bit or one data element to be sent and only one signal element is required. So R will be one. Similarly, in case of B here, one data element is there either zero or one is there, but to send one data element two signal elements are used. So signal elements for this same duration, the time duration this one. How many signal levels are being used levels here signal elements are like how many signal constant signal levels are there into uh, one uh, data element duration? So this is the one duration. Okay, with respect to time. So for this time period, there are two constant signal levels are there. So here, while sending one data element, two signal levels are used. So it will be called like two signal elements are being used. So here R will be given by number of data elements is one, and number of signal elements are one and two. So likewise, so in the C here in one time duration, we are having two data elements that is being sent zero and one. And with respect to that, only one signal element. So signal element will be defined like for the same duration. How many constant signal levels are there? So your single signal level is there. So that's why it will be two divided by one. So it will be R is equal to two here. Similarly, in this case, so this is the one complete time duration. So for this complete time duration, four bits are being sent and this four bits are being represented by one, two and three signal levels. Three signals levels are representing one, one, zero, one. So R will be given by like four divided by three. So this is the signal elements and signal uh, data elements that we have also seen into the previous lecture also. So in terms of uh, digital signals, so in the previous classes we have seen if a digital signal is there suppose any signal is there likewise then its frequency this is with respect to time if it plot with respect to frequency it is having the different discrete components and these different discrete components goes up to infinity similarly this is in case of like periodic if it is non periodic in that case also it will be having a continuous but infinite it will be starting with 0 to infinite frequency okay so here it is saying like although the actual bandwidth of a digital signal is infinite okay so bandwidth is the range of frequencies starting with like 0 to infinity so bandwidth will be complete range so bandwidth is the infinite here in ideal case 
but the effective bandwidth is finite. So if in case of practical signals, whatever the practical signals are there, the bandwidth is considered to be finite. So finite in the sense, the lower component of the like the frequency that is having higher frequency values at that the amplitude. This is the amplitude basically. So amplitude is basically very less. So these are basically neglected. OK, so only a significant uh, amplitude values are only considered. So only in practical analysis. So that's why this will be the bandwidth in case of practical analysis. Practical purposes. So this is it is uh, basically talking about.